as I was uh, standing around watching these guys load up their kayak and uh, getting ready to launch, I was looking at the water and the condition. I'm thinking about the time when uh, I got out here one day on a super rough day, even rougher than this. And uh, I met up with this one guy named Todd and uh, he went out maybe, uh, it was like a washing machine. He went out maybe about 30, 40 feet. And then monster wave came by and flipped him over and he lost his, his net and a whole bunch of other gears. But, oh yeah, he plus, he wasn't even in a wetsuit, no radio, nothing. I'm like, this guy is crazy. But uh, he came back, got himself back together and went back out and he made it. So uh, I came by, watched, watched, watched and found an open window and went out. But uh, if you do go in a condition like this, really make sure you know what you're doing and always read the window of uh the the wave crashing because uh they're a very little open window but uh i went up north and uh found this spot and uh usually it's pretty rough over here, over here too but um today this is so easy look how flat calm that is insane you can just drag your kayak out out and uh do some fishing i bought this rod set up for uh when i go uh, crabbing with casey but uh I figured today I might as well do some shore fishing and uh, kind of relax, enjoy the day without doing any uh, heavy lifting or heavy work. And uh, just kind of enjoy the slow day, the last day of 2021. I usually do this when I'm waiting around, waiting for a fish to bite. I'll grab some bait, anchovy or squid and uh, I'll feed a few of these and uh, this one's a little bit slower than the first one I fed. The first one pretty much just wrapped itself up around the bait and swallowed the whole thing. But you can see the little crabs trying to get at it. recording all those uh sea anemone uh eating the squid and uh i caught a fish but i got snagged because i wasn't paying attention so hopefully Little baby cabbie. Little baby cabazon. So the last time I came out. I wasn't wearing any gloves and uh, I'm not a fan of gloves, but I'm also not a fan of getting all scraped up and beat up, but uh, 
a lot of mussels. It's a good patch of mussels over there. Should we go back to over there? That's new mussel. Uh, not quite new mussel, but so so. But also don't want to slip on my face or fall on my cell phone and break my cell phone. But let's go see what we can find. <clears throat> Barnacles. The gloves makes it too easy. Ooh, that one might be kind of sandy. It's too close to the bottom. Muscle. Whoa. I want the whole colony. Just a few. <laughs> picky, picky. Whoa. That's a big one. That's a big one for over here. Uh, wow. That is huge. So I'm being a little bit more pickier this time. Uh, trying to get some of the bigger one. I got a new bag because the other bag started ripping as I was like weighing uh, a couple weeks ago or last week or whatever it is. But I'm just being picky right now, I'm trying to big get the biggest one only. Might have go back deeper. Here's one. It hid from me earlier. Ah. Not bad. A lot of sea urchin though. I could collect some sea urchin, but mm, I don't know. It's a lot of mussels. A lot of mussels. A lot of slippery as rocks too. Alright. See what else I can find over here. There's a big one down there. It's kind of sandy over here. Making me think the mussels can have a lot of sand in them. It's a lot of nice medium sized mussels though. It's a lot of little ones over there. I like some bigger one in between. But if I can find a nicer. That's not bad. Wow, oh, that thing's hard. Twist, twist, twist. Eventually. Oh, break. Oh. Eventually. You working that hard for our muscles? A lot of mussels. That's for damn sure. There's a big one right here, but it's in the dirt. Wow. Holy shit. 
Gotta get some strong, strong hair. <laughs> Damn! Come on, come on. Sideways, twist. Oh, God. It's a big one. Oh yeah. Getting heavier. It's a big one down there too. Grab it. <laughs> oh yeah. There's a nice one. These up here are cleaner when you go. Know, they're not in the sand. They're not as big, but they'd be a lot cleaner. Way cleaner. Alright, I found a good batch right here. A bunch of bigger ones. And they look cleaner. They're not really in the beach or in the sand. So, I'm gonna collect some from here. Uh, that's okay. That's not bad. That one's nice. Couple nice ones. That looks nice too. That one's clean. Ooh, no, that one's better. Still barnacle. But you could knock those off. Oh, no, I broke it. Did it too hard. But, uh, yeah. Be picky. There's some bigger one down here. They're in the sand though, but they look bigger. There you go. That's a big one too. There you go. Wow. That guy's tough. Come on. Almost got you. Twist. And it should be out of there. See, there you go. Twisting motion. Twist. Twist. Pull. Pull. Woohoo! That's a nice one. Sweet. That's a nice one too. Sea life. All right, 
Let's see how heavy that thing is. Get my way. Okay. Zero pounds. And let's see. Eight point one pound. Almost there. Throw some out. Eighty. Point nine nine. Got it. Got my limit. The bag and a little wet. So once they start dripping, that's why I like the mesh bag because they'll still drip and they'll be lighter than if you leave them in a bucket. If you leave them in the bucket, all that water just sits in the bucket. So when you weigh the bucket, the bucket is heavier. But if you just hold this, it's lighter. So better I got my uh, 9.99 pounds of uh, muscles and uh, up here. But, uh, I already got enough in here I don't want to be doing trading so uh, damn, that was a big one. Look at those urchins. Woo wee. Look at my pants like right there. Little purple guy. A lot of them though. More in there too. A lot of urchins. And uh yeah, one of the guy, one of the viewers are asking me, are there urchins in here too like uh, up north and yep plenty of them you can see in there plenty of them you just gotta know the spot if you're not afraid to go in there you get a whole bunch of them they're all over the place too though but uh i'll take one